Welcome to the Risk V Revolution. We're so excited to share with you the journey that Risk V has been on, where we came from, and where we're headed. I'm Callista Redmond, CEO of Risk V. So, why is having an open ISA so critical for our industry? Well, let's take a short stroll back in time. The 1980s saw the first semiconductor. A battle between various ISAs, various instruction sets and architectures that really drove down to one key criteria, power. You needed a constant supply of energy, you needed to have uh, performance, and the, but the demands on that energy consumption required a plug into the wall at all times. Now we've moved into cell phones and other implementations for chips. ARM really took hold on the uh, cell phone revolution, and then we moved forward. Up until now, we haven't had the same drive and the same need for truly open, uh, open source custom processing. But custom processing has come to our age. We have seen the barriers to entry much lower than they've ever been in the past, and our demands for compute technology require custom open source processing. Where do we see this? We see this across a huge spectrum from embedded to HPC. We see this in automotive, we see this in cloud, we see this in IoT, AI. We see this across a huge spectrum where getting down to the very core and adding the extensions and other implementation types critical to your workload are more important now than ever. But our community isn't just single-sided. We have a diverse set of interests, many stakeholders in our community. If you think of a village, everyone brings about their expertise and brings it together for a long-term strategic and sustainable growth. That is absolutely critical. We can no longer re rely on a single supplier, a single, single vendor, a single partner, or a single customer to meet our business needs, to grow and profit for the long term. So this brings about a key criteria for business survivability and sustainability today. You have to have a diverse set of innovation partners and a diverse set in your supply chain, no vendor lock-in. And that allows you to have a much broader addressable market. So the more partners and the more suppliers you can bring brings greater competition and greater option and choice into who you collaborate with while, again, expanding your market opportunity. That market opportunity may be geographic or it may be working on adjacent spaces, adjacent industries to where you began. That allows for growth, long-term sustainability. We're very active around the world. In China, we're seeing great growth around four different associations that we partner with. They're looking at academic, they're looking at research, they're looking at industry and venture capital. In China, as well as around the world, Risk Five is a great option, whether you're a startup or a large multinational. We've got room to innovate and grow for everyone. In Europe, the European Processor Initiative has adopted RISC-V for acceleration. This is critical in HPC, which leads us straight into artificial intelligence. And at Embedded World, we're seeing it uh, deployed readily across many different types of implementations in the embedded space, industrial, IoT, you name it. There's not one corner reserved for RISC-V, but a broad opportunity. In India, the Shakti project, six different processors based on RISC-V. This is an initiative that is truly global with global collaboration. In Japan, Japan is looking at uh, RISC-V not only for traditional enterprise space, but also in automotive. We're seeing great advances in automotive also for safety and security. In North America, you see proliferation of RISC-V across a wide variety of participants and stakeholders, from large multinationals to very small startups. In fact, one of our most successful startups, Sci-5, is based completely on RISC-V, and their growth and presence around the world is known by many. 
in Pakistan. Pakistan wants to be part of the technical revolution as well. And last year we saw more than 3,000 people come together in two different city events to support Risk Five. in fact, making it their national architecture. This is something that's so important to us, to have public-private support for Risk Five. This means allowing Risk Five and supporting Risk Five in universities for students, enabling uh, communities and connectivity between engineers to collaborate within uh, local regions, as well as supporting uh, businesses who commercialize Risk Five, whether that's through innovative uh, incubation labs or through other types of incentives that the public sector can offer. So join the Risk Five revolution. We are an organization that provides support across a wide variety of needs that all sizes of our companies need. In fact, we are bringing together more than 530 different members today. That's around the world. We have about uh, nearly 60 members in uh, Europe alone. So how is this growth coming together? As I mentioned, it's not just geographic, but it's across a wide variety of interests. These interests span from tools and custom IP to processors and implementations used for them, used for, used in-house. These six programs are things that our organization, that RISC-V provides to all of our members. These are critical to everyone's success and critical to our forward progress. So first, we have technical deliverables. We have more than 25 different work groups and, and committees that are focused on various implementations, various uh, uh, extensions, and things to make RISC-V easier to customize. We have verification and compliance. We just rolled out our first compliance suite to allow folks to really truly comply to the base ISA spec. Visibility. Visibility is not just about what our organization is doing, but it's about the ongoing success and visibility of what all of our members are doing. So that is something that we are here to help amplify through press and analyst relations, through events, through blogs, through videos, and many other ways to ensure the visibility of Risk Five and all the success of our members. We are also working on learning and talent. This comes in two flavors. One, we have nearly 30 different offerings from universities, very key to spreading university uh, adoption of Risk Five in their courses and in their research. And second, across professional training and development. We've launched a program that will bring together all the great content about learning about Risk Five as well as deep dive topics to uh, provide to the, our global community through online courses. Advocacy and outreach. This is a new area that has come into popularity lately called developer advocacy. I assure you, this is not about marketing to engineers. This is about connecting engineers to engineers through more than 2,500 members of our meetup community in 25 different uh, cities around the world. It's about creating online forums for engagement, posting a challenge, receiving lots of feedback and ideas on how others have tackled those same challenges. This week we launched a uh, Risk Five Ambassador program. If you're keen to be a Risk Five Ambassador, please let me know. And then finally, Marketplace. Marketplace is critical. This is where we play ultimate matchmaking. Here are all the Risk Five things available today if you're looking for something. Today we have around uh, 89 different cores and SOCs, and we have 94 different software tools and other resources listed up on our website. We're working to refine this and grow this. We're going for scale. So I hope you'll join the revolution. I hope you'll sign up for RISC-V, learn more, and join us in, in this new frontier. Thank you.